Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball, Blue New Pickle Syrup, and I just wanted to show you guys my last boil of the season. Um, I got 91 gallons of sap today at about 1.8% sugar, so the season's about over with, but I'm getting ready to draw off some syrup. And for those of you that have been watching, that have been following me on social media, you guys kind of know this process, but let me get everything loaded up and I'll kind of walk you guys through what's happening, how I'm changing sap into syrup. So hold on. So I typically start to pull my syrup off when I start to get a hydrometer reading, which means the hydrometer floats at the bottom of the cup. So you guys can see it's floating. So I'm gonna start drawing syrup off now. So there you go. Now you guys can see it. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute once it gets closer. So let me show you guys what's happening right now. So what's going on is I'm taking this sap that came from the tree at 2% sugar and I'm boiling it off to get maple syrup. So it starts off looking like water with 2% sugar and then I start drawing it off when it gets to 55% sugar. So that's all we're doing when we're making maple syrup. We're turning water into high concentration syrup. So you can see my temperature, it's looking pretty good, staying consistent. So yeah, we are making maple syrup right now. So put this back on here. I just wanna show you guys what this is all about. So we still have a hydrometer reading, I'll show you guys. So once it starts to float, that's where I start pulling off. So we'll keep drawing more off. So I have what's called a three channel flat pan. So there's three different columns. So this is my pre-warm pan right here. So cold sap is being fed in and that cold sap is pushing the syrup through the system right now. And that's why I'm drawing off syrup. So I'm putting in cold sap at 2% sugar and I'm drawing off syrup at 55 plus percent bricks or sugar, I should say. Yeah, you guys can see it, we're still drawing good syrup off, so. So for any of those of you that have made syrup, this is kind of a chaotic point for me right now because I'm, I'm throwing syrup off, I'm putting sap in, I gotta keep the firebox loaded because I don't have a float system. I actually have to keep mine to the level of the syrup because if it gets too low in the pan, it'll burn the pan and I'll completely ruin my pan. Once in a while, I'm spraying in a uh, food grade defomer to keep the foam down. So 
it still looks like we got a good hydrometer reading. So we'll just keep pulling the syrup off. As long as it's floating, I'm pulling off. So I'll show you one more time what this all looks like and we'll call it a wrap. So there's the syrup coming out of the system. And this is what it looks like when it starts off. Again, it's 2% sugar. And as it works its way through this three channel system, it turns into syrup. So really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, my Instagram is blue underscore J underscore maple underscore syrup. Um, if you guys want some maple syrup, go ahead and direct message me on Instagram. Also, I'm going to start a YouTube channel under Blue Jays Outdoors, and I'm going to try to document and show you guys my entire season. So that is the one thing that you guys have noticed if you've been following me is I don't hold anything back. I show you guys the entire process from start to finish. So again, my name is Jay Ball, Blue Jays Maple Syrup. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.